Here's a quick video on how to optimize your home theater PC with Windows Media Center on Windows 7. You can begin by removing all your programs from your startup. Um, having it as your home media center, you're not going to want other programs starting on startup. Um, I've put a few demonstration ones in here, but I'm going to go ahead and remove them all. Also note that I'm removing Windows Media Center from startup, as we're going to add it to startup in the registry later on in the video. Okay, so once they've gone ahead and been deleted, I'm going to go to Start and Control Panel, and then Uninstall a Program. Um, I don't actually have an antivirus on it at the moment. But if you did have one, you probably want to remove it on your on your media center. It's going to just slow things down. And the chances are you're not really going to have anything, um, any viruses on this local machine as it is. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go to the registry. So you need to go Start and then Reg Edit. And we're just going to check for other processes that are going to be starting on startup um, that we don't really want to start because it's just going to slow us down. First of all, we need to go to HKey Current User Software Microsoft Windows Current Version Run. And this is pretty fresh install, so in my instance, I'm not actually going to have much in here. Um, in fact, I've got nothing at all. But if you did have other keys here, you could go ahead and delete them. Um, to be honest, it's, you can't mess too much up in by deleting those. Uh, but if you're worried, you could check out what the process is on Google. And then we're going to do the same for the local machine. So HQ local machine software, Microsoft Windows current version run. Uh, let's see if we've got any in this one. Let's just find it. Okay, as uh, so you can see I've got some on here. Um, I am recording on a VM, so for the purposes of the video I'm not going to delete those. Um, but the printer one there, you know, I can just go ahead and delete that. So you just right click on it or press the delete button on your, on your keyboard. Okay, so once you've done that, um, and you're happy that you've you know removed the stuff from your startup, it's going to make your PC boot quicker. Next, we're going to go into the services. So press start and type in services.msc. Okay, these are all the core cool processes that run in the background for Windows. Um, not all of them are necessary for when you're running Windows Media Center. Uh, so we can definitely stop some of these um, to make your PC boot quicker and also just run quicker once it's on. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but they're quite self-explanatory. They've all got a description to the left of them. Um, but once you've found one that you don't want, you can go ahead and disable it. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Um, I'm just going to find one that I know is not going to cause any problems. And if you're worried that it, it could cause problems, then it's best to just leave it on. Um, but the more you can get disabled that aren't integral to the system, the better. But you're going to need to leave on ones to do with network if you're streaming. Um, and any sort of desktop UI and um, that sort of thing. But print spooler and diagnostics, that sort of thing can definitely be switched off. So this one I right click go to properties. Um, on the general tab you can see startup type and press disabled and um, press apply and OK. And that's how you just stop one from starting. You go back into services the same way to put it back on. Um, just to fast forward here whilst I disable a few others. Um, you can disable as many or as little as you like. But as I said, the more you do, uh, the more it's going to speed stuff up. OK, once you've done this, you need to make sure your resolution's right. Um, I've got mine here. You would probably want to set it to 920 by 1080 if you've got a 1080p TV. Um, I'm leaving mine on the 720, um, purely for recording purposes. Um, but you would probably want to set yours for 1080 if your TV is 1080p. The next thing we want to do is you know, start, go to run, and type in control space user passwords to, just like on screen here. And then we're going to press OK. Um, you want to make sure this box here is unticked. Uh, go to the advanced tab and the one at the bottom is also unticked. You apply that, it's going to ask for your password. What we're doing here is making sure that it doesn't ask for credentials when your PC turns on. Um, you don't want to have to be getting out a keyboard when you're just turning on your media center. Um, you just want it to go straight through um, to the media center rather than sort of stopping halfway at a log on screen. Obviously that doesn't suit you and you want to stop people from getting on it, then you know you can change that. You can leave it as it was. Um, finally, we're going to change the registry so it boots directly to Windows Media Center. Uh, we're going to do this by going into RegEdit again, uh, Local Machine, Software, and then Microsoft. Let's scroll down a bit. And then Windows NT. And then Current Version. Let's scroll down a bit more and you can go to Win Logon. So you left click on Win Logon on the right screen, you should see a key called Shell. And if we double click on that, it's going to show. Um, explorer.exe 
and we need to change this so rather than loading the desktop which is explorer.exe it loads windows media center so if you find your media center icon right click on it press properties you can see it's target here here it's window ehome backslash eh shell.exe that's going to be the default for most people but i advise you to check it out so it's just not going to it's not going to load the program um, once you've done that you can close that close that off um, i think that's all the changes we've made um, I'm just going to give the computer a quick reboot just to show you what changes we've made and uh, you should find your PC boots a lot quicker not in this case because I'm doing it on a virtual machine uh, but in your case it will definitely boot quicker and it's also going to load straight into Windows Media Center with all the correct settings rather than loading your normal desktop and perhaps a logon screen and there you go how to optimize your home theater PC for Windows Media Center on Windows 7 thanks for watching